August 5, 2022 marks three years since the revocation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. It also marks the day when the state was bifurcated into two union territories of JNK and Ladakh in 2019. While there is still a long way to go, the region has seen some massive development and positive changes in the last three years. Some of them are Law and order incidents in Kashmir have dropped by over 88% in three years. Over 79 lakh tourists visited JNK between October 2021 to March 2022. Under the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, the region ranked number four at the national level in terms of road length achieved and an amount of rupees 5,000 crores of massive addition in the power transmission system in 2021-22 has strengthened the impressive outcomes in power distribution. Hitting back at Rahul Gandhi, the BJP on Friday accused the Congress leader of blaming Indian democracy and its institutions for Congress's repeated defeat in elections under him. Shortly after Rahul's press conference, senior BJP leader and former Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said, Stop demeaning the institutions of India to safeguard your corruption and misdeeds. If people don't listen to you, why you are blaming us? He added, if people saw dictatorship, it was during the emergency imposed by Indira Gandhi. Notably, Rahul Gandhi alleged in his presser that India was witnessing the death of democracy. The Reserve Bank of India hiked the key repo rate by another 50 points in a bid to curb inflation in the country and support growth. This is the third straight hike by the central bank in four months and is expected to raise borrowing costs for corporates and individuals. RBI had increased its policy repo rate by 40% basis points in May and then by 50 in June. The policy repo rate currently stands at 5.4%. With this, the total hike so far in 2022 stands at 140 BPS. Congress on Friday held a protest mainly in the national capital and a few other places in the country against the issue of rising prices, unemployment and GST hike on essential items. In the national capital, the protest was held despite Delhi police having denied permission for it. Meanwhile, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi, along with some other leaders, were detained by the police. India backed the sixth gold medal at the Commonwealth Games 2022 as para powerlifter Sudhir finished on top in the men's heavyweight category final. Sudhir lifted 208 kgs in his first attempt before increasing it to 212 kgs in his second effort to gather 134.5 points and break the game's record. The United States has declared monkeypox a public health emergency. The declaration, which is initially effective for 90 days but can be renewed, came as nationwide cases topped 6,600, with around a quarter of them being from New York State. The U.S. declaration comes on the heels of the World Health Organization designating the outbreak an emergency last month. China on Friday imposed sanctions against United States House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her immediate family members following her brief visit to Taiwan, as per media reports. Additionally, the ministry further said that her trip seriously interfered in China's internal affairs, undermined China's sovereignty and territorial integrity, trampled on one China principle and threatened peace and stability in Taiwan Straits. At least one person was killed and 11 others injured in Quetta after a grenade exploded, as per media reports. The incident took place at Joint Road in Balochistan's Quetta. Last week, in a similar incident, three people were injured, including a policeman, in a blast outside the Turbat Stadium in Quetta. Amid rumours, the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs has clarified that no GST has been imposed on Sarai's or Inns near the Golden Temple in Amritsar. Tweeting about it, CBIC wrote, Certain sections of the media and social media are spreading the message that GST has recently been imposed with effect from July 18. 
2022 even on sarais run by religious and charitable trusts this is not true The Haryana Police Special Task Force thwarted a possible terror attack after recovering an improvised explosive device with around 1.30 kg explosive substance. The IED was kept at a farmland near Shahabad area of Kurukshetra district as per reports. Following this, the STF arrested a Punjab-based man Shamsheer Singh from Tarantaran district. 